So let's look at the sinus model. We're using the sinus model here uh, in reference to the olfactory structures. So when we're looking at olfactory, we're really looking at all the structures that may be found in the nose. So a lot of times when we think of the nose, we think of only this external portion that sticks off in front of our face, but really the nose itself is a fairly large structure uh, that consists of an opened area within the facial bones, between the cranial and facial bones. Uh, so up here we can see the frontal bone with the fairly large frontal sinus. Right? Uh, back here we can see the sphenoid bone with the sphenoid sinus right here. Uh, right in between, this is a little extension of the ethmoid bone. Right? Uh, and actually right here, you would find the cribiform plate of the ethmoid bone. That's the small little area of the ethmoid bone that had all those really tiny little holes in them. Uh, and that's gonna be important when we talk about the olfactory bulb portion of the olfactory nerve. Right. Uh, inferiorly, the nasal cavity has the hard palate the front portion of the hard palate is made up of the maxilla and the, in, the posterior portion of the hard palate would be the palatine bone. And then beyond that, we have a little structure that hangs down pointing inferiorly towards the digestive tract. Uh, and this structure is called the uvula. Whenever you swallow, swallow the uvula should be pushed up and it will close off this opening between the nasal cavity and the oral cavity to prevent anything, any fluid coming back up and going back out through the nose. Okay. All right, um, here, right here, we can see the opening to the eustachian tube. We'll be looking at the ear a little bit later. Uh, and right here, let me go in a little bit, we see one, two, three little bumps. Those are the, uh, the turbinates. We have the superior, middle, and inferior. Sometimes they're also called the nasal conche. And there's a little area below each of those, here, here, and here, known as the meatus. Right, so we have a superior, a middle, and an inferior meatus. Sorry, that was system closing down. So those three areas are really important. This area right here is really important because we have folding. Anytime you see folding within any structure, it's to increase surface area. And these structures are going to warm and humidify air as it passes in through the nose. Right? That's going to be more important for the respiratory system that we'll look at a little bit later on in the semester. So we'll actually come back to the same model when we get to the respiratory system. But here we're talking about the special sense known as olfaction. So what we're really interested in is the area of the nasal cavity where we find the olfactory membrane. So the olfactory membrane is found way up on the superior portion of the nasal cavity, just underneath the cribiform plate of the ethmoid bone. And the olfactory bulb of the olfactory nerve would lay right on top of this structure. And you would see little extensions, little neurons coming from that olfactory bulb that will innervate the olfactory epithelia. So there's a good picture of this, uh, very similar to this, in your handout for the special senses. Make sure you look at that and make sure you review some of these olfactory structures associated with the sinus model.